an interview is actually a two-way assessment process. It's the, the employer obviously assessing you to see if you're a fit for the organization, but at the same time, it's also a, a job applicant's opportunity to see if that organization is a good fit for them. Entering the room and shaking someone's hand, a firm handshake uh, with a really great smile is good. Always make sure you give a handshake to the uh, the panel, so shows that you're ready. Yeah, your hand might be sweaty, but everybody is in that type of situation. Be polite. Uh, mind your P's and Q's. Um, be very cautious as to using negative terms in an interview. Always try to use positive terms. You know, most people allow uh, candidates to write notes. So if you think you're going to lose the thought of the question that they're asking, ask the interviewer if you can just take a few notes down while they're asking questions. Just I would say just to be yourself and take a quick second to think of your answers before answering the question. Um, employers do give that time for somebody to you know, have that thought process happen. There's no rush. People have a tendency of speaking in, in two or three words and they're done with, with the, the answer. A uh, question that's posed to you is to think about it, reflect, and then answer it. And we want to see your imagination around the question that they're being asked for. To pay attention to the type of questions the employer is asking. So when they say, you know, tell me about yourself, the employer really wants you to lead them down your career path, maybe explain what led you to that career choice, and not what you've been doing, you know, on your weekend. If you're not sure of, a, of an answer, be yeah, upfront with the interviewer that, you know, really I'm not too sure, but this is what I think it may be the answer that you're looking for. And it shows that you're, you know, you're not um, always, um, you're not infallible, that there's areas that you're going to have to learn and grow with time. But uh, for me, those are things that make me say, wow, what a candidate. Generally, when you get an opportunity to ask a question in an um, interview, it's at the end of the interview. And by asking, what are the most important characteristics that you're looking for in a candidate? There may be something that comes out from the manager that um, you didn't get an opportunity to address, and by them telling you what they're looking for, you can then add additional content to your interview. What makes you really stand out as a candidate is having done your research. You can't expect to go in an interview and just wing it, and that's what makes the end uh, of, a, of a process it just makes you outshine the other candidates that are there because you've done research. If an employer gives you their contact information after the interview, I think it doesn't hurt to send a quick thank you, but um, it's not expected and it's not necessary, but I guess it's a nice to. Uh, for timelines, I would send it probably the day of would be the best or early the next day at the latest. It doesn't hurt to send a thank you email um, the day of after your interview and just uh, let the interviewer know that it was great to meet with them and it was a pleasure and that uh, um, you're looking forward to hearing from them again. One of the questions that a candidate would ask if the employer hasn't said um, of timelines, of their recruitment timelines, so then the employer can give them an idea that they're wanting to make a decision a week or two weeks from now and that would be the best time to follow up.